It's me, roll the intro. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel Money Reads. And welcome to a reading vlog that I may or may not upload because I may or may not read today. So I just filmed a video about books that I'm on hauling and I mentioned this book right here. Let me go get it. Why am I not prepared? So as I was saying, I mentioned this book right here, which is called Armageddon House by Michael Griffin. Now this book is 120 pages long and I thought, Monica, you can read that in a day. So we're going to attempt to read this today. Right now, I'm going to go into my bedroom and I will update you if I've read anything at all. I'm probably going to take a nap first though. Hey. It's me, and I've been reading this for, I don't know, 30 minutes, and I'm 45 pages in. And so far, it's really interesting. It's about four people. They are stuck in this underground facility. They know they're stuck there. They know that there's an outside world, and they know that for some reason they're here, but they don't know that reason. And um, this causes like a lot of friction, and it's really interesting, and it's kind of like a... Like a mystery it's a mystery like why are they there they say that there might be bombs they, there there's enough food for like thousands of years but it's only the four of them so i'm really interested each chapter is like a new routine of their day and it's really good i plan on updating you when i hit 60 pages which is the middle of the book which should be in about 20 minutes or so um, yeah, I'm reading this super fast and so far I'm enjoying it. I'm not understanding a lot, but I don't think you're supposed to understand a lot just yet. So just thought I would update you and let you know that I am actually reading. What a novel concept. Okay, I'm on page 77 and boy, do I have no idea what's going on. Like, this is some crazy, crazy stuff. Like, characters keep, like, not changing but they don't remember what they say the the ambience keeps changing the ambience the environment keeps changing for some of them and then not the others um they like take these drugs that make them meditate but one of them is like it makes me want to kill myself i have no idea what's going on and neither do the characters but you know what i'm really 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 liking this book so far like i am really tired i want to take a nap really bad but I'm on page 77 of 120 pages and the font is really big and there are complete pages with nothing written on them so I feel like I could finish this like right now excuse me but we'll see we'll see because I really want to take a nap but either way I am definitely finishing this today I want to know what happens you know I want to know what what's going on and um, I'm sure you want to know too and I'll let you know so I'm glad I picked this up because it's like a nice way of getting back into reading after not wanting to read for a while. I have another book, let me show you, hang on. I know that I'm on a no by year, but there is this um, book club that I'm a part of and all you have to do is buy the book and then you get you read it throughout the month and then the author comes for a signing and everything. And because um, of my mental state, like, my psychologist actually suggested that I keep up with this book club and so I count this as a sort of mental health situation because it's kind of one of the only social things I do but um, it's a Spanish book, it's always a Spanish author and this one is El Buen Padre by Santiago Diaz this is a mystery and I'm, I think I'm gonna pick that up next it, I already started reading it, I am um, 25 pages in and it's 400 pages not that much so i don't know i had originally planned to read the cousins and i had planned to read skywarden i still plan to read skywarden the cousins i'll leave for next month but we'll see we'll see because this month is not over yet like i might read skywarden and the cousins and this that would bring me up to four books this month i can't even who is she who is she reading anyway um i'm gonna keep reading and I'll update you but yeah I have no idea what's going on although if you saw the movie Mother for, in, on Netflix this kind of gives me Mother vibes it's really good so far but I want to take a nap so I'm probably gonna take a nap I'll see you later all right I made it to page 100 but I'm falling asleep like seriously my eyes are like I'm nodding off so I'm gonna take a nap 
And then I'm gonna finish this book because I only have 20 pages left. I have no idea how this is gonna end. I don't think this is going to have like that satisfying ending of this is what was happening all along. I just think this is gonna be one fucked up tale. But so far I'm enjoying it. Like I'm reading it super fast. I, I forgot that I could read <laughs> that fast. But yeah, I'm gonna take a nap and I'll catch you after my nap. Yo. <laughs> So contrary to what you might think because of my disheveled state, I just couldn't fall asleep. I like got panda eyes and everything, but I just couldn't fall asleep. So right now I'm actually watching a little bit of YouTube. I'm watching this new um, channel. Well, it's not, it's new to me. It's, what is your name? Georgia, oh, Georgia Richards. Yeah, I'm watching her. I'm going to watch a vlog and then I'm going to finish the book. I am going to finish this book today. Like part of me is like can I finish a book in one day and it's like yeah bitch you totally can you are almost done with it so I read some reviews online and it says that it's like phantasmagoric and crazy and stuff like that and I'm like I'm into it I'm totally down for that I didn't realize that that was what this book was gonna be and I'm really glad that I picked it up so I'm gonna finish that today, but first I'm gonna watch this vlog and then the, the sun is probably gonna go down So the lighting's gonna go a little bit crazy and I'm gonna have more panda eyes, you know, cuz I'm Could I take my makeup off? Yes. Do I want to? Not right now. Also kitties. You haven't seen the kitties in a while. Well, yes, you have because they're in every one of my videos Hey babies say hello to the vlog So yeah as always, my nightstand is a mess, but that's okay. I'm gonna watch this vlog. It's a 39 minute vlog. And then after that, I'm gonna go straight into this. Peace out, Girl Scout. you would enjoy that pink kind of um, aesthetically pleasing shot before I tell you uh, oh my god I look like Gerard Way in 2005 but anyway um, I, I enjoyed it I have no idea what happened I mean kind of do, if I put my oh, that's too much work anyway did I enjoy it yes do I have any idea about what happened? No, but I did finish it, so I completed my task. Now, I can turn this into a weekend vlog and try to finish two more books this weekend because I've got two books, The Cousins and Skyward Inn, which I think I can finish this weekend. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to get started with The Cousins. I'm going to give this three stars. Yeah, this... I... I I've got no clue. I've got no fucking clue what happened, honestly. Um, it was a good read, though. I think this would make a great movie. I think it. I think this would me. This would make a great movie, like a movie that I would like. But um, otherwise, it's really weird, and I don't actually recommend it because you're just gonna be confused the whole time, just like I was. It was good, though. I don't know how that translates. Anyway, I'm going to get to reading The Cousins, which I have an audiobook, so I'm going to read for a little while. I might take a walk or something. If I do, I'll take you with me, but I don't know. It's cold outside today. We'll see. We'll see. <music> Hello there. So it's what time is it? It's 
8.30 and I am currently 50% into the cousins and I have to say this is addicting AF like I it's really YA like like the characters are really young but I want to know what happened like I have so many theories and it's like such a like the, the story kind of draws you in and there's like a back and forth with it. I usually don't like that if you've been to my channel for any length of time you know that I don't like back and forth storylines but I like this one because it's just like one person back in time and I keep like reading the chapters wanting to go back to that person and I just want to know how this ends how this ends how this ends so I might I don't know my may I finish this tonight I could um, I'm a little bit tired though, not like physically, but like I, I don't know I, I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but when they've been reading for a while, I mean I, I did read 120 pages of this and um, I've read I guess um, I've been reading this for about an hour or an, yeah about an hour hour and a half um, so I am kind of tired, but I just only have an hour and a half left. Could I finish this tonight? Maybe, but I'm probably going to finish it tomorrow, though I just wanted to update you. Well, I haven't said what this book is about. I didn't say what Armageddon House was about because honestly, I don't know what Armageddon House is about. But this book is about three cousins. They don't really know each other, but they know that their parents were disowned by their very wealthy grandmother. And then they get a mysterious letter like calling them back to her island where she has a resort and um then it, it just gets mystery upon mystery upon mystery and it's a lot of fun i really like the characters um my favorite character would have to be i think jonah or aubrey i don't like millie but i think i don't like millie because millie is the most like me so you know when you see yourself in someone you don't like them um but yeah i'm having a lot of fun with this book i'm having more fun than i expected to have i think the fact of finishing a book really set me on this course of okay we can do this because I have like I did finish another book this month you'll see it in my wrap up but I hadn't really like I'm sorry I try to hide like my tv has two things going down it my husband's thing is there it's I always feel like my house is like the least aesthetically pleasing house ever but yeah um I, so I was saying um when I haven't read in a while, like, I feel like I can't do it anymore. But now I'm just, like, back at it, and it feels so good. It's like, oh, yes, I feel good. I feel good. Maybe I just needed a little break from reading for a while. Maybe I won't finish this. Maybe if I finish this, I won't like it. I don't know. But so far, it's so good. Let's see how it goes. I mean, I could totally finish this tonight. We'll see. We'll see. I did it. I finished. I do have a physical copy of The Cousins. And I give it four stars. It was pretty good. I like the mystery. I love family mysteries. Those are like my my favorite mysteries. And this one was really good. I really like the characters. And I like how everything got resolved. I mean, it's not the best mystery book I've ever read. But it's, my god, I really do look like I belong in a Tim Burton movie. But anyway, um, yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. It was it was a lot of fun. It was fun to read. I needed a fun read. So I'm gonna put the dust jacket back on this and this will go back on my shelves because um, I said this was a cover buy and this was totally a cover buy but it was also a buy of because the title the cousins, you know, it's like family and family first and I, I kind of had part of the mystery figured out but it did take a twist that I wasn't expecting and I like that because usually I can tell mysteries and you know I read a lot so I can kind of guess what's happening hang on let me get myself in better light is that better oh you can see my cat yeah so um I I didn't guess the entire plot and that was really cool my favorite character is Aubrey, although I will say trigger warnings for um, miscarriage in this book. I, I don't care if that's a spoiler, like I don't care because it's really important for people to know these things. I mean, if you are really sensitive to that and you go into it, I want you to know that. But yeah, four stars at least <laughs> at first go and I finished Armageddon House, which I still don't know what it's about. and. The cousins. I'm gonna go to sleep and tomorrow I'm going to start 
Skyward Inn, which Lena from Sufficiently Advanced Lena, who I mention in every video, said that I will probably like. I mean, it's my kind of book. Apparently, it's kind of slow in the beginning, and then, like, it takes a weird, twisty turn, which I really enjoy. And it's sci-fi, so, yeah. And then, after that, but you probably won't see that, I'm going to read the uh, book club book for my Spanish book club. And, um, yeah, that will finish up the month. And I, if I finish Skyward Inn, I will have finished four books this month, which is more than I've read in a really long time. I'm really excited. I'm really happy. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is currently, actually, it's almost afternoon. It's 12 on a Sunday. Um, I don't know what day it is. I'll insert it down here or something. Or not. It's a Sunday. And we're currently going on a quest. We're going on a quest to find bread. I haven't read anything today. I've been watching or re-watching really the big family cooking showdown. And I really want to make soda bread. But my husband's like, I want to eat now. So yeah, um, I cleaned my nightstand, cleaned the bed. I have here the books that I read yesterday. Here's the cover of The Cousins. This cover is really cool, but it really doesn't tell you much about what the book is about. It's honestly, I think the cover is really misleading. So let me put that back on the book. And there we go. That's The Cousins by Karen M. McManus. Would I read anything by her again? I heard that she wrote a really uh, popular book to book, which is One of Us is Lying. Um, not sure if I'll read that, but anyway. And here's Armageddon House, and here's the Spanish book that I'm reading, and here's my pills for the day. <laughs> but anyway, uh, what's the plan today? I was planning on reading Skyward Inn, but I started reading it last night, and I was completely lost. I had no idea what was going on. And that's okay, but I don't know if I want to read that. Maybe I'll try finishing my best friend's exorcism. I don't know. I'll figure it out after breakfast. Both are really short books, so I can finish them today if I wanted to. If not, I'll just show you that I have finished two books and a half. Update time! So, I fell asleep while reading My Best Friend's Exorcism. I was reading it on audiobook and I fell asleep, but I got like halfway through. So far, it's really good. That's all I gotta say. I mean, I'm only halfway through. And I don't think I'm gonna finish it today. I'm not gonna force myself to finish it today, but we did make cookies. We made vegan chocolate chip cookies. They're so fluffy and good. Oh, they're so good. They look a little bit rustic, as my husband and I put it. And I'm right now baking bread. I, I was so upset during the quarantine that I didn't get to bake bread because a lot of people were, was big, a lot of people were baking bread there we go i can speak english a lot of people were baking bread and oh sorry that's a mess <laughs> my house is always a mess a lot of people were making bread and i wasn't able to and now i am making my own bread and i'm very excited i'll let you know how it turns out but as far as reading goes i think i'm gonna leave it here for today so i'll show you the bread and then i'll bid you adieu cookies have been consumed bread has been tasted and it was pretty damn good say hi ro hi and that's where I'm gonna leave this vlog for today. Thank you so much for watching. I didn't do a lot of reading, but you know what? You don't have to do a lot of reading. You just gotta read what you wanna read. So I'm gonna see you when I see you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye. I think I'm out of focus. You'll have to forgive me. Bye.